Hi everyone, I'm Mitch and welcome back to the channel. It's the 2nd of uh, November 2020 and uh, I want to show you a video a little bit later uh, about what life was like before the Artsakh Azerbaijan slash Turkey slash Syrian mercenary war began. It's unfortunate that I have to give you that kind of an introduction, but it's the truth, it's the reality of life here in Armenia now. But I want to show you what it was like before that war began and how we hope and pray that this life will return to the land of Armenia and Artsakh in the near future. Before I do though, I want to tell you where I am. I'm at the Sitsernakabert Genocide Memorial, which is behind me. I often love to come to this sacred place to pray. And now today, I want to encourage all Armenians and people of Artsakh, Armenians all over the world and others who are praying for Armenia, I want to tell you about a very, very important verse which I believe if everybody truly believed in their heart, this war would cease. It's a, it's a promise that was given by God to Solomon who had just built the temple which God had uh, told, who had instructed his father David to build. Solomon heard these words from God himself. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. Forgive their sin and heal their land. That's his promise to us as his children, as Christians. So I'd like you all to remember that in your, as you pray for the boys fighting on our border for their homeland. Nothing is impossible with God. And so now to a complete change of pace, I'm going to show you what life was like before the Artsakh war. And it's my prayer that our boys will be able to come home, sit around a table like we do in this video and enjoy time with family and friends. Today we want to divide, invite you all along to a, uh, the home of a lady who we buy our veggies from at the Gum Market. And they, she invited us to her home. There she is with Sona. It's just wonderful, isn't it? We don't even, we hardly even know these people and they just invited us to their home. One sec. La ves? Huh? Oh. What a yard is or home it doesn't have chooks. Oh, we got lots of them too. 
beautiful little setting. That is Harut uh, being played in the background too. I like Harut. So, it's this little boy's birthday today. And he's going to be two years of age. What's his name? Artyom. Artyom? Artyom? How you say? Artyom. 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 Say hello. 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 Hey. Hello. <laughs> Shut up. Ah, there's a good smile. Good smile, yes. Bubble over. You can hunt. You can show how. So we got eggplant on the horovats. So that's usually the first thing to go on. The eggplants are just about done. Some of them are. And the capsicums will go on next. Yes. The chooks have just got some fresh greens to eat now. Uh, rooster is telling us something. Now we're going up here. I don't know what's up here. Uh. Oh, it's a nice area. That's the table setting from a distance. They've already got some things, some nice things on the table there. Wine glasses and <clears throat> some uh, little snack food to start with, I guess. So what is this? What is this here? So, this is uh, yeah, this is uh, this is cottage cheese inside of eggplant. Mm -hmm. Eggplant being fried. This is mm -hmm. cottage cheese with uh, some uh, some dill mm -hmm. and a little, and a little, little bit like uh, mm, that's very uh, yummy. Yeah. This is uh, potato salad. Yeah, this is potato salad. This and is chicken salad, like in special baked ba uh, no, I need some baskets. Apple. Yeah. And this is like apple apple salad. Which one? This one. This, this one. one. No, no, no. There, there. This white one. one. White. No, this is tabbouleh. This, this, oh, this yeah. is apple salad, yeah, not apple not salad. potato salad. No, no, no. Apple salad, no. And uh, I don't this know what that is. This is like tabbouleh. Yeah, tabbouleh. Mm. Yeah. And this is Armenian uh, uh, herb called dandur. Mm. Mm. And now we have pomidor. Tomatoes. Not tomatoes. Pomidor. We're in Armenia. I have to say it like I'm in Russian. An Armenian lolik. Oh, lolik. Yes. I never knew that. So this is Armenian horse. Uh, horovats. This is pork. This is usually the last thing to go on a Armenian barbecue. After is la pokera. It's a chicken rana. And Sir did fantastic job. Sir? If you want, yeah, if you want to try Arme Armenian uh, Horvats, you have to come to and visit Armenia. <laughs> no way and in the world. <laughs> yeah, 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 true, true, true. Mm -hmm. All done. All done, yep. Hooray, all done. And this is chicken kebab. Chicken. Well, we're going down into the cellar. I'm not sure how well this is going to turn out. It's a bit dark down here. Oh, this is where she keeps all her preserves. Yeah. This is Armenian woman who does. This is typical of many Armenian women. They love to do these preserves. Now, this is all fruit in here, yes? This, this is jams, marmalades. Jams and marmalades. Yeah. And over here we've got tomatoes, uh, vegetables. And mm -hmm. we've got... So cool! He likes and this to get in. And this is grapes, leaves. Armenians like make from the dolma. 
mm -hmm. and uh, very yummy, unbelievably yummy. When dolma is cooked, so mm -hmm. then we like to squeeze garlic mm -hmm. and mix up this matzun mm -hmm. and put on the top of this dolma and eat. It's very, very yummy, unbelievably yummy. Mm -hmm. And you love it, like it. Very good. Mm. Mm. Excellent. And this is just, uh, you remember Hans, this uh, fruit we have seen on Sivan, orange color? Mm -hmm. I can't remember on English this fruit. This ah, is, yeah. yeah, this is juice she yeah, making yeah, from, yeah. yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. This is, this is eggplant with tomatoes, like horovats, preserved in the jar. In the jar. Mm -hmm. This is okra, and this is uh, okra with tomato. And you can use uh, for soup or whatever, and unbelievably yummy and healthy. Australians uh, not eating too much okra, but okra is very mm, good nice. for your health. Mm. Amazing, amazing vegetable. This lady here drying basil, mm -hmm. drying basil for the winter, and oh she God, using on the soup. And she, and she is using for the for cooking because mm -hmm. in the time basil is expensive and not natural. Mm -hmm. And uh, we get the uh, lavash. Now she's going to make lavash because lavash completely dry. Mm -hmm. Well, this is dry lavash. She put a little bit water on, and mm -hmm. then she's going to wrap in on this plastic or tile, okay. whatever, and going to become soft. Mm -hmm. And you can eat like fresh uh, baked lavash. Mm -hmm. And this dry lavash can stay more than a year. Yeah. You can eat it crunchy if you want. Yeah, you are very yummy. But, crunchy, uh... very yummy. But you can't wrap anything in because when dry you can't wrap it. No. Oh, so once again, that's the dried lavash. Dried lavash. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, one lavash. And now this lady has been putting in a plastic bag. Putting, um, uh, dr uh, wetting it, and uh, put in a plastic uh, bag. Put, put like a. Um, uh, plastic towel bags. over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Now and it's, it's all become soft. She's putting it into individual plastic bags, ready to be put on the table. And this yes. is Magna Kash, Magna yes? Kash, yes, Armenian bread. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Artyom. Happy birthday to you. And take a big teddy bear from there. And take a teddy bear from there. Artyom, I'm not taking. Artyom is high as well. Thank you, Paralelco. Sako Helenko. Deputy, deputy. Deputy, Chibali, Chi. 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 This is Armenian hospitality for you. Yes, to tell about John John. John John. John John Pedro Oh, shut, shut, no, I got you. This is after the event, so we have uh, most of the meat is gone. And here we And my dear uh, brothers, Samvel, Samvel, Maloja, uh huh, is do Pedro's jam, Pedro's jam. <laughs> so, this is what happens when you're in Armenia. This is a real Armenian table, I can say. People we hardly even know have accepted us into their family, and it's really wonderful. Really, really wonderful.